Jay, uh, a good night. A place choose between chicken or pork adobo. Thanks, pork adobo, pork adobo, pork adobo. You know, guys, unlike any other podcasts that we had here at Keepsakes, we go with the usual, hey, guys, Jay Agone with Keepsakes right here on this 91st podcast. No, no, it's, it's not going to happen. Today, we just learned the graduation of one of our favorite virtual YouTubers, if not our favorite virtual YouTubers, Hirokoko. So today is June 9. It's supposed to be a nice day. It's not a nice day. And I am gathered here with our colleagues in the community. We have on my right, good VTuber subs, Madikuji Senpai, uh, Madikuji-san. And on uh, below me is the chairman of AT Inc., Eighty and how sh um um we have the chairman of Ehe Inc. Uh, it's a spin-off oh, company. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you're just making stuff up. Yes. <laughs> right. We have Ehe with us. So uh, Eighty and Ehe are hosts of the virtually talking podcasts. I grabbed them. I invited them here on this podcast for a special recording. Uh, this is. Uh, what I call a sober podcast where we try to ingest what's happened so far in the past couple mm. of hours, especially when Kiru Koko announced at 12 noon JST that she will be doing her last stream on July 1st at 8 pm. That's also in JST, I believe. So, yeah, it should be. Yes, we'll go back to the time where we started uh, learning about Kiru Koko. So, we'll go with the, the two chairmen we have here. Right now, so Eighty and Ehe, I know you've been obsessed. Uh, is that a, a proper word? Uh, for... Yes, definitely. Sure. Yeah, obsessed. with with Niji Sanji, but uh, we'll be treading into Hololive territory. Hololive being one of the biggest names in entertainment as of this moment, so it mm -hmm. still feels like a shock to us, and I have no idea yes. how to proceed with this. But let me ask you first. How did it felt when the news struck both of you? Hey, should we, should we um, go first? You you want me you want me to go first? Yeah, man, dude, you woke up. I mean, we all woke yeah. up to this. I'm trying to remember what I was doing. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, I was doing some of my stuff, and uh, one of my friend, um, Route Twenty Four, uh, like. Uh, our our guest our guest from the pod, our podcast, uh, he told me that Kiru Koko is graduating and July. Uh, at first, I didn't believe him, and I searched on YouTube and fuck, I, I didn't expect that like at all. Mm -hmm. It's like she's to me. She's like uh, she's like the most influential like whole life member, and. Like this graduation is the biggest graduation that ever happened to whole life, you know. Yes. Mm -hmm. Whole life never never lost a member like this ever. Like mm -hmm. Niji Sanji have uh like they have lost a lot of member uh this past few past few years, but this is like the first time for whole life. Definitely. Like for Aloe, Aloe, we didn't even know her yet, uh, mm -hmm. and she graduated. But Coco, we know her like for almost like. Two years? One two years. Two, two yeah. years yeah. Around two, two years. years. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's years. been that yeah. long. Wow. Oh <laughs> it's been God. that long. Two time she, flies, man. She had her like, she had her three D debut last year. And mm -hmm. it, it's it's like very shocking to me for something mm -hmm. like this to happen. Definitely, man. How about you, AT? Uh uh, before I say anything, uh, thank you, Jay, for inviting us. Uh, like you mentioned, we, uh, hey and I, we are co-hosts of the um, virtually talking podcast. We don't normally, <laughs> we don't only talk about Noji Sanji, but we do, we do delve quite a bit into whole life as well. We do have our uh, reviews about uh, quite a lot of the whole life concerts, which uh, Coco is part of as well. I believe the last one we watched was Whole Life Second Fest, as well as what's the other oh, one? No, uh, the last time we watched was. Last uh, uh, the carnival thing. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of That's course. the last episode, dude. What the fuck? Oh, we haven't, we God, haven't recorded yeah. in such a long time. Yeah, we have, we went on a bit of hiatus. Yeah. But yeah, so uh, our, our roots came from. I think uh, not. I'm pretty sure that uh, virtually talking, at least when we conceive of the idea, it started from whole life. 
we weren't that big into Niji Sanji at that point of time. Uh, this was actually, it coincided with the creation of the server, uh, my server. Then after all, we kind of, I met Hey there, and then we were like, hey, let's create a podcast. So by at that time, we were actually still quite big whole life fans. Uh, that's before we really went and dived straight into Niji Sanji. At that point, if I, if I'm not, if I don't, if my memory serves me correctly, I think He was a big fan of Marine, right? Yes. <laughs> and I, I can't, I, I might, my sense of timing is kind of messed up, but I think at that point, Asa Koko was still airing. Yeah, I, I, I think so. I'm going to be honest here. I've always been a big fan of Asa Koko. The Reddit reviews, not really my cut of tea, because I, I don't really enjoy Reddit that much. The memes yeah, out there is I like re- a hit or miss for me. So yeah. I, I, I really don't like meme review. Yeah, but like Asa Koko was straight up, right up my alley, man. Uh, her content style was unique. She was very influential. She wasn't afraid to speak her mind. Uh, ever since, you know, things happened from the, the Chinese side, uh, I feel like Koko had her wings clipped. But at that point, she's always been a very, very influential VTuber. And so like Eke mentioned, I think it's a, it's a big loss, a big tragic loss because you don't really hear about graduations or whole life side. You know, they're signing a contract and everything. But, uh, well, Holo Stars, they have, they have a couple, but for whole life, it's kind of rare. In Niji Sanji, it's, it happens only because there's so many members and therefore you expect a proportionate amount of graduations. But none have been as influential, really, I think, as Coco's departure from, from Cover Corp. And yeah, so I remember uh, I, I just woke up today uh, and the timeline was in shambles, right? Everybody was grieving. It was quite a mess. The timeline I, was... In chaos. <laughs> it was in chaos, man. Like, everybody was making their long posts, you know, dedications to it, like, thanking her for her, for everything she's done. And I just remember, because nobody mentioned Coco. It was just, wow, it's so sad. You know, she's been a great, she's been a great influence. I was like, what? There's like, something's happening. Something's wrong, obviously. Everybody's grieving over something. But nobody mentioned her name yet. It was only after I kind of put two, to two, two and two together, I realized, oh, no. Somebody big has left. Right, and then I went to check cover cop as I usually do. <laughs> usually when the <laughs> bad news happens. Yeah, usually do. <laughs> when when something happens. Chaos, oh, something happens. Yeah, oh, usually it's, I usually check Niji Sanji underscore app or I'll ch- check cover underscore cop because that's where, you know, the news will come out. And so I checked cover cop first because um, uh, that's just well, whatever just appeared. For, and there it was, Kiri Koko's graduation. And yeah, I think I don't really have many words to describe this. I think just I can just sum it up with I was just distraught, distraught, definitely. Yes. Um, it felt it does it did it really felt a void. Uh, like uh did it really felt like there's a void. Yeah, definitely. I, I, I think um it you definitely not hit you yet, because it's not my first like it's not my first going my first experience going through a graduation. I've gone through a couple already. Right, uh, I'm sure not you guys know. It's not the first time this year. It's not even the first time like, this year. Exactly. Like this year, I've been fucking rough. Like Yuara, Yuya. Yeah, Yuya, and Yuya is the one that really hit me because she's the one that actually watched quite a lot more recently. Coco has been because it was the last year kind of thing. I watched a lot of her content last year, but this year was more Yuya. So it's not my first graduation. Um, and if anything, speaking for experience, it's usually it was settle in once she hits her last broadcast, which will be on July first, as you mentioned, and. I, I all I gotta say is just we gotta like stay together, you know, support her until she leaves. Yeah, yes. it's yeah. definitely gonna be tough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'll turn the tables to Made Paisen. Uh, as a diehard Kiryukai, a Kirikoko fan, mm-hmm. I want to hear your thoughts. Right. So I guess I should first introduce myself to those who haven't heard of me. So hello, my name is Made or Madakuji San. Um, I usually spend my time dealing with uh, a little familiar if you're uh, familiar with this twitter account called good vtuber subs which i mentioned earlier uh, which is which you mentioned earlier uh, yeah. we, we talked about in the previous podcast uh previous uh, keepsakes podcast um which uh shares translation uh translations from verified translators and also recently uh i've been what i've been up to is i've also joined as a subber for a translation group called hololive resort subs resorts so okay I, yeah, so I've recently joined them and I've been making subs for uh, doing subtitling work for them. And also uh, in the Kiryukai community, um, of course, I'm a Kiryukoko fan. I'm part of our membership. I've been there for like eight months now. And um, I've made several things since I'm 
studying IT. That's kind of what I'm. That's kind of the projects that I'm doing. So I made a little thing called Asakoko Keyboard, which uh, turns text into her em- uh, alphabet emotes, and uh, the Coco Dex, which is a partnership between me and other Kiryukai members to document uh, her karaoke streams uh, for other people to check out, uh, especially her history with singing. So, yeah. Um, I guess uh, to start off my story with what happened earlier. Um, so yesterday was the collab stream with Coco, Ollie, and um, Mori. Callie. Yeah, uh, yeah, Mori and Callie OP. Um, Super Mario Party. And at the end of the stream, uh, and also this has been talked about in the Coco server already, but she said that she was going to have an important announcement uh, the, ne- the day after, in just, a, in just like half a day, like at 12 p.m. JST, right? So um, I slept at like 2 in the morning. I woke up at like 8 uh, waiting and um, I don't know. There was a bit of an omen happening when, when she first said that announcement. Like, mm. it was very neutral. You couldn't tell what was going to happen. And the thing that got me a little bit like suspicious um was that the what you call the frame or rather the waiting room for the stream hasn't been up yet it only showed up an hour before the uh before the actual stream so that at that point i was like okay this is really suspicious i have to prepare myself and uh the other kirikai were also sort of onto it but like they it's it's like 50-50 some were expecting you know, things would be bad. Some people were expecting that things would actually be good. Like, there would be some surprises or things like that. And then, 12 o'clock JST happened. And she put on the white background. Put on the text in Japanese at the bottom. Um, And um, people in uh, in different Discord servers, both in the main Holi fan server uh, or Holocord, and also in the Kiryukai fan server they were all like what does this text mean what does this text mean because they're all english fans right and then uh some people who knew japanese they said the word graduation and everybody was distraught everybody was taking a double take wait is this for real and then it was uh it's made clear by the translators in the live tl um one of them i think the the one who was definitely present there was taishi uh 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 what do you call this uh who often live translates for coco streams and then she just went detail after detail after detail of what was going to happen um so mm-hmm. like the membership uh membership archives were going to disappear three months after the date which is what we talked before july 1st um she was good she was gonna have these collabs up until the last day which is july 1st which is uh, her final 3d live and then the chaos started happening and uh everything was just uh yeah, it was just um, it was just hard. Everybody to was these coping, emotions right? in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Jay's in tears right now. The, I'm okay, <laughs> yeah, we're coping. And like for the five hours ever since that stream ended, like or even like, as it was happening for like five hours, I was like, um, I was like, um, my eyes were like definitely very wet. They're like, uh. Like I was getting teary eyed the whole time. I was taking long breaths. Was like, oh, okay, okay. I was going like that the entire time. Um, me and my team over at Holiday Resort Subs, we were actually it was, a, it was a good thing that they opened up a voice chat to discuss this with the other members, so that we can just have a we just have a moment to um to clear things up to talk about this with other people because taking it by yourself is a, is a bit difficult. Yes, it um, is difficult for for a lot of people. Yeah, so I'm glad that one that my team was able to do a VC so that we can talk about it. I'm glad that um, other servers have done the same. So Kirikai server also did that. They had a VC where they um, talked about stuff. I guess um, I wasn't there for that because I was busy with live resort subs. And also in the main holo cord, the fun thing that they did was they they all decided, okay, you know what? It's Bakamitai time. 
bring out the karaoke <laughs> VC. We're singing ba kami tay. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. Just, it's just like than, uh, uh, it's better than eighty solution. He's just we just play drinking. We, 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 we were just drinking we and playing Arctic phone. Yeah. Arctic phone, yeah, I saw that on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, you're it's all not, different ways of coping, yeah. Yeah, the different ways of coping. Yeah, I don't. What I I said this on Twitter as well. I asked people, please don't speculate. Please don't blame people. And that's also what happened in the other servers as well. People started blaming. People started. Uh, um, yeah. Those you are, know, giving the rats and all of that. Those are bad kinds of uh, copium. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. definitely. I, I heard this from, like, one of the mods of, like, <laughs> even just the uh, the second Hall Live server, like, Hall Live Resort, the main server. Um, and they're, like, they were saying, I'm banning people every, like, every second or every 30 seconds. There's, like, <laughs> There's like some guy I got a mute or he got a ban. And it's like, oh my god, you! This is the one time you come out of of lurking and you decide to send messages that break like break rules. Like, come on! <laughs> I, definitely, I definitely saw yeah. a lot of speculation today on mm-hmm. the timeline. Like, fuck off! <laughs> fuck yeah. off. And like, don't, honestly, don't honestly, don't like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and honestly, those who speculate are people who haven't actually researched enough to know about how this even how this sort of thing happened, or just you know, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. just looking at the signs and, and everything like that. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, which, yeah, mm-hmm. which reminds me, there I believe I read somewhere that there's this one time Coco was looking for suggestions on what her content will be next. Am I correct? She okay. definitely had a, a content like uh like a content block, like a writer's block, so to speak. Yes. Um in terms of what to do for her channel, especially considering that she decided to end Asakoko. Um and her the, her recurring show only so far was the Reddit meme review. Yes. Um yeah. Mm-hmm. And it would I wouldn't say that's the only reason, like people may say that, but I don't think it's that because, like, she's definitely mentioned, or at least from the translation that we've gotten, is that she mentioned she mentions a lot of reasons why she decided to leave Hall Live, and um, she also like in the because like she after that announcement stream, she did a talking stream earlier a few hours ago, mm-hmm. um, to talk about things in more detail and just to. Um, just to keep everyone sane, I guess, keep everyone calm, uh, for the time being. And I think she did a pretty good job of that. She was, uh, she was very, she was very cheerful and like, um, being positive. Um, and I think mm. that's what everyone kind of needs to do. Cause like, it doesn't really matter how much like I'm, I feel bad about it or like I feel distraught about it. Her, Order to the Kiryu guys, stay positive. And that's what I'm going to do. That's what I hope a lot of other people should do as well. Because, like, if anything, um, I definitely trust Coco with what she wants to do and what she's planning to do. And I think more people need to have confidence of, in that instead of blaming people or thinking, oh, this happened, that happened. Uh, and also, she talked about earlier in that stream that, like, She's been talking to other Hollow Live members about it For, in advance. Uh, she's talked to mm-hmm. Watame especially about like um, um, what she felt about being in Hollow Live, like uh, what she liked, what she didn't, uh, complaints, mm-hmm. not complaints, and all of that. Mm-hmm. So I have full confidence in her and what she wants to do. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, le- since we've talked about the content block, and moving for, moving forward with the, the things that have happened so far with Asakoko, especially with that incident that we I, I do not want to mention this up, but it's it's the truth. It's the truth. You know, um, mm-hmm. at that time, it was a simple mistake that wasn't. You know, it's I don't think it's even a mistake. YouTube, YouTube's. If I if I were to blame one 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 person or one entity, that would be YouTube. That would be YouTube. Mm-hmm. That would be YouTube because it's uh, they they work s- slow. They they do things late, and we just I believe we've just seen, uh, say, uh, the Maurice stream, uh, getting limited to 
subscribers, subscribers who have only. Who, who mm-hmm. subscribers only who have been there for eight months or so. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, that's I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm still mm-hmm. empty right now. I look back <laughs> at the legacy of Asapoko. That mm-hmm. one fateful day in December twenty twenty uh is that twenty twenty? Twenty nineteen. December twenty nineteen, even before all of these pandemic things started and all. I I mm-hmm. look back to that one and then I look back at Coco's mocking uh Watami's internet. You know uh, <laughs> Wow, that was and, a long and, uh, time ago. So yeah. So nostalgic, yeah. Please so Zako. Yes, so Zako. <laughs> um that 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 one left a memory to me. The reason why she cannot speak English for Asakoko is simply because she causes a lot, yes. She causes uh, a lot. I think we saw that a lot in the yesterday's uh col- uh no yeah, yesterday's collab stream. Mm-hmm. Uh, she oh. does she's def- she definitely goes unhinged in English. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but I believe uh I don't know where I l- heard this. I forgot where I heard this. That Coco's uh getting more into Japanese so much that he's she's slowly losing her grasp of English. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We we joke not about like, that sometimes. It's yeah. not unexpected. Yeah, it just happens. Yeah, it just happens yeah. when you're in Japan yeah. and you're you're, in Japan. you're expected to speak Japanese. Yeah, yeah. anything. And, I I'd say it's the dedication to the Japanese fans, if anything, because you you it's really hard to lose touch with a language unless you're using it a lot and you're losing you're using it a, um very much. So I think it's if anything it's testament to her dedication to her streaming career. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's it's um she's just a very dedicated uh member of her life and it's definitely heartbreaking to hear that, you know, she's been treated a certain way, even by her fans or the people who are not her fans. It's it's definitely yes. something that uh, as as any VTuber fan out there. Uh, hearing yeah. about a story, you kind of feel sad about, yeah. Dude, she she works really hard to bridge the like the whole life content to overseas viewer. Definitely, it's mm. oh, uh, yeah, fucking it, insane the work yeah. that she did. Yeah, like, um, I think most people who I don't know if it's most people, but a lot of people who are fans of Hall Life En are definitely aware of the fact that like. Hall Life EN wouldn't have become a thing if Coco were, wasn't the one who definitely pushed that idea so much in the uh, uh in man in Hall Life management to the point where they mm-hmm. actually did it. And now mm-hmm. you see the success of that project. Um, with of course, I think like everybody knows about Gargura reaching like two million, two million plus subs, <laughs> subs mm-hmm. and the rest of uh EN catching up to that. Um, all all trying to reach one mil. And it, it goes to show the power of uh, the VTuber culture and just the concept and the technology itself and how that can expand outside of Japan into the Western world uh, and globally as well. Mm, the power of and... memes, I guess. Because, <laughs> yeah, uh, memes oh, definitely want to. Yeah. Memes, memes are the second yeah. language. Memes is the second language. It's not internet. no, no, yeah, no it longer is. Japanese, no longer English, no longer Italian or Filipino or in Bahasa Indonesia uh, or or uh, Singlish. All of your accent. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I swear, like, la- like memes can definitely be the thing that breaks the language barrier. Cause like, hmm. um, I remember like I was watching this. Uh, the were you there? Were you watching the collab stream between Lyrica and Kaheru? Um, ah yes, Lyrica and Kaheru. Yeah. And they they def they like they're PH VTubers, right? They're Philippine VTubers, right? But they reference things from the ID fandom, like Wangi Wangi. Right? That's <laughs> that's, 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 there. That's, that's not how you say it. That's not how Wangi. you say it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not I'm not Indonesian. I, <laughs> how do you okay, say it anyway? How do you say it? Wangi 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. So right. they, were, they were saying that, and it's like, <laughs> and it's like, damn. Like this is a thing from the ID fandom, and yet that branches over to the other countries, um, as well. And it's, uh, it's crazy. Like P 
people have talked about like uh people have mentioned like the word like cross cultural pollination right yes mm-hmm. cultural cross pollination yeah and it's it's whack it really is and coco was definitely one of the biggest influences that brought that about like everybody knows about keys in the eye she definitely brought about vtubers to japan and also gave a glimpse of it to the world but Mm -hmm. coco is definitely one of the only people who've managed to break that barrier uh, that language barrier and spread it even wider than it ever was before um not just through her uh, her being a bilingual, but also through her sense of humor, uh, through her creativity in her streaming, and you know, among other things, just her personality as well, uh, is honestly a, a delight. So, like, you know, that makes her a delight to watch as well. That's why I've been supporting her for a long, long time now, and I always will, uh, moving forward, definitely. Okay, Dude, yeah, if you like ask. Um, like any VTuber fan, like ninety percent of the time they're gonna. Uh, if you ask, um, who's your first VTuber? Like ninety percent of the time they're gonna get, they're gonna answer Kiryu Koko. Like mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. the most common like answer. Definitely yeah. nowadays, I can I can definitely see that happening. Actually, mm-hmm. for me, like um, I didn't even start with like because I was there for um Kizuna Ai is like the first you know VTuber that I've ever seen yes. and then in memes actually first I've seen was like oddly enough like I'm a big Hololive fan but the first meme that like I got intrigued over like with VTubers was like Shizuka Rin if I'm uh, not mistaken Shizuki, yes. yeah. mm, Shizuki, uh, from yeah. Niji Sanji yeah because right? yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah, right. she did like the the Japanese version of Country Roads uh, yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. and that, that got That's big long, and then yeah. yeah and then after that was Fubuki with her um Catman. With Cat, Scatman, of course. Scatman, yeah. And that, that's, yeah. that's where I learned about Scat, uh, Scat, uh, Scatman John. Really? Yeah. Oh, really? really? Scatman. That's, so, that's, that's, where a, I, that's a roundabout that's way of learning. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's a roundabout way. That's actually messy. Yeah, Scatman I, John uh, was apparently one of the biggest hits in Eurobeat around the 90s in Japan. Mm. Mm, yeah, yeah. Scatman John was big in Japan for some reason, yeah. Yeah. We, we, well, Japan likes yeah. Eurobeat and I think that's where the time where Initial D was airing and then we, we get Eurobeat Deja Vu. Uh, I yeah, think yeah, that yeah. falls falls in the same place. So, like more on the legacy of Kiro Koko. Remember her 3D stream for her 3D debut? Dude, mm-hmm. she died. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, she died. She died at the end. You really remember? <laughs> Man! Uh, this was, this was, that was the, a uh... while back. Yeah, that was a while, while back. That's that's why. This is the warning sign. This is the warning sign, ladies and gentlemen. Um, <laughs> my 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 memories are kind of flooding back. Oh, wow, that was the, a long time yeah, ago. The, the long time 3D ago. debut was almost a year ago. It's like a wow. Ago. Yeah, 3D like, uh, debut was the time where my friends were definitely showing their love for Hall Live. Um, in in like the servers that I was in, and I was getting a little bit intrigued as to what they were doing. Before I became, uh, that was before I became a VTuber fan. Yeah, um, I shortly before. Yeah, yeah. Th- those those hips don't yeah, lie. Yeah. Those hips don't <laughs> they lie. Don't. <laughs> they really I, don't. I, I wonder. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if I could have invited coefficient here with us, but due to time constraints, oh, was... and we are uh, we can invite Chris the whole sim. Mm. Yeah, we could also invite him, but due to time constraints, and uh, this is as part of the moment idea that i had and i just dragged you... Made Paisen and then the vt talking guys so yeah, yeah we, you we could... invited us on my reply <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i didn't know was... how to answer so... it. yeah it just came out of the way uh if anything i'm just trying to think about kiyo koko's 3d and uh wow oh, dude the I'm, way remember, I would... I'm trying to remember what happened in the stream no, I, I knew I... she's saying like um uh what what the fuck is SSS, what's, what's SSS? Chinese Smiley Shiny Story. He translated yeah. Chinese yeah. Smiley yeah. Story Dude, yeah. in English. So yeah, in English. English if, if I'm not, okay, because uh, we and he, he and I, we are both Niji Sanji fans, I would actually go out there and say, if you, like the, okay, um, this is not, we're not trying to start any inter-agency kind of thing, <laughs> but you know, Niji Sanji 3D, Niji Sanji 3D they have a certain kind of character to their to their debuts the meaning they are very they're very unhinged they're very off the cuff they're very um they're planned 
intricately planned, but at yes. the same time, they're, they're not pandering to a certain group of people. They're, they're very... Um, there's a lot of kind of mayhem inside. There's a lot of shenanigans that happen, but there's also like a lot of singing as well. I would go out there and say... Because uh, I think the way the style of Niji Sanji like uh, like uh, 3D debuts are very unique to their agency, and it's something that the Japanese fans actually like a lot. If you if you if you watch a lot of the 3D lives, they are not pandering to idol fans, for example. They're pandering a lot to just normal uh, YouTube viewers. Yes, and the Niji Sanji mm. 3D lives. Yeah, I will go. I will go and say that Kiru Koko's 3D life was the one that would I would say strikes the most the the best balance between the idol fans as viewers as well as normal consumer of content because you had the you had the singing you had the dancing or whatever but you had just the shenanigans if I'm not wrong she was like cartwheeling around beating up Yakuza or something like that was it? yes I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah yeah and then whoa 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 whoa, whoa, whoa and she's whoa. moving the transition <laughs> like for everything yeah. yes yeah that's how she died one of the Yakuza <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. I remember that and, yeah. That that's the kind of thing that I like. Uh, it's that is right up my alley, right? So uh, I think AK can attest to that. But if if anything, I would say that her content is so unique, right? That it's it just it transcends what you would think of an idol. It, it it goes beyond that. You it you don't think you look at you don't think Kiri Koko's an idol with that stream alone, never. Yeah, no, you you can definitely see where she, where you can call her an idol. You know, like in terms of her performance, but. Mm. Just like how, let's say, if you if you if you guys are aware, you know Kagami Hayato from Niji Sanji. Yes, he's 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 amazing uh, singer. He's very good at rock, but he he's also like an entertainer in his own value. I would say Kiko Koko's 3D debut falls under that category where you can not only see her idol side, but you can also see her as an interesting individual with like her, her talents and her creativity kind of shine through. And I think that was what I, I was thinking about because. Yeah, you, you, if you think, if you look back, if you go uh, 3D, you look back and you're really going to watch. It's not very whole life like, you know, it's not really. You wouldn't expect that out of an idol kind of outfit review or 3D debut. It's something different, something, it's like a breath of fresh air. Yes. Something new to the scene. And I think that's what enticed a lot of people to come watch her because uh, even if you're not a fan of idols, even if you're not a fan of the culture, there's something there for everybody. And I think that's the kind of legacy that she's left behind. Yeah, and that's also one of the reasons um, that Hall Life became open to a lot of people, not just um, even before EN came out, right? Um, it, Hall Life became massive, especially with Gen 4 and with mm. Coco at the, at the forefront of it all. Um, and, yeah. like Because like the... It it was just such a that three D stream honestly was just so whack and so interesting that it definitely hyped up a new generation of fans mm -hmm. to come and join along the uh, the whole live rabbit hole and through that propagated the uh, the spread of VTubers especially through YouTube through clips through um, sharing it with friends in social media and on uh, on chat everywhere it's just. It, it really is sort of a revolution in a way. Yes. The, <laughs> the good thing about Kiri Koko's clips, you don't need to translate 90% of it, especially if, he, if she's speaking in English. And second, do you remember, guys, when Koko mentioned Project Melody in one of her Asa Koko episodes? I do. Yeah, yeah I, I do. I, I think Koko has, a, Koko has a plan, but it was thwarted by management because it's... It's not, yeah, I yeah. wouldn't blame I mean, them, yeah. honestly. Yeah, mm. yeah. 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 because it's say, say so idol or something, something. You can't, you can't erase yeah. history, how yeah. hard, no matter yeah. how hard you try. Yeah. But speaking of Coco, like, I'm trying to think how many outfits that this she got. Uh, how many of it? Outfits? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the big Yukata, like the one in... What's oh, yeah, the big Yukata. Yeah. The big Yukata. Yeah, the, that, that's the akin default. to that music video where they have big clothes. Uh, the idol outfit. The idol outfit. The, idol outfit. the dragon yes. outfit. The 3D outfit. Have we seen the idol outfit? Yes. Yes. In she the, had. The, yeah, she, she had one. They yes. showcased it. Like Gen, oh, yeah, Gen yeah, 4 yeah. Who showcased like, it. I keep mm -hmm. Yeah, they just didn't get to showcase it in Beyond the Stage. But yeah, yeah. That, that's such a shame. Like, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Up with the... uh, just, that's just out of time. Yeah. Like think about it. Like we we'll, we after okay no maybe July first. July first. It will be our first and last time we will see her. You know, actually performing. 
in that outfit, if I'm not wrong, is it? Or well, well we, we hoping. We'll see. Got, hoping, hoping mm. that he goes into her idol outfit and it really I, prove I, I herself think, as idol yeah, for, the, for the person last time, I guess. <laughs> she, 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 she's dedicated to a fan base, so I'm quite certain she will you'll, uh, go off with a bang. She, she will likely try and uh, you know, end things off on a, on a very good high, making sure everything, uh, all the fans get what they they are hoping to see. That's that's how Coco works, right? Yes, she's, uh, as... she's an entertainer. She really is an yeah. entertainer. And not just that, like, as someone in, in Kiryukai, right? Like, she definitely cares about, like, everyone in Kiryukai, even just the regular viewers. She definitely cares about them a lot. And you can see this a lot in, like, uh, in her tweets when she tries to share things that the fans made, uh, whether it be from Reddit or whether it be from Twitter, um, she, uh, she like responds to things in the in especially in super chat readings from just us like regular Kiryu guys, um, just like you know wanting to chat with Goku here and there, and it, we've supported her through all this way for a reason, um, and that reason is because like she's definitely taken care of us as her as her fans and we definitely want to pay her back as uh, uh, as fans with all of our support for sure um and i don't think we're gonna stop that anytime soon I it's good to hear, man. Mm. Uh, okay I'm, I'm i'm trying to tread everything that i remember about kiro coco and i remember this one stream where uh she reads a super chat saying that no matter how chaotic, but perhaps I'll have to paraphrase it. No matter how chaotic Coco is, people can see her efforts. That made her cry. Yeah, yeah, I remember that clip. Um, yeah, yeah. No matter how like, like everything that she's uh, been through, or like every all of her down uh, down moments, it's like uh, see the effort in her. And you don't have to ask like. You don't have to ask your guy for that. You can just ask the Hololive members themselves. Everything they've said during the graduation, even before that, in clips before that, um, you can definitely tell that like all the Hololive members um, rely on Coco, and Coco has been very, very helpful for uh, for them in in ways big and small. Um, one example that I can most definitely think of right now is that there was this even to the newer generation members because like there was this one clip where like um lamy was having troubles with her internet i think the oh, yes. yuki mints know about oh, yes, that yes. uh about that happening before and so like she asked help from the other hall live members uh for what to do and coco was one of them coco like gave her like a full detailed um like analysis of here's what's happening here's what you need to do and like etc and it's like goes to show that like um coco like is legitimately kind of like a like people describe her as like a kind of like a big sister for everybody in hollow life and i think that makes sense uh given how much she's been helpful to everyone in in hollow life in in different ways mm -hmm. yeah. which which brings us to contact center coco that one time in arc yeah, she, okay. Speaking of ARC, she also spurred an ARC revolution for VTubers she in did. Japan. But yeah, let's, let's move forward to the customer center, co contact center, Coco. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna have to sit this one out. I hate the yeah, game. I, of I, I fucking hate ARC. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we hate ARC. Like, like, <laughs> I, I'm cool. a guy, but like, I, I'm not a big fan of ARC, not gonna lie. It's not mm -hmm. really my thing. But I've definitely watched some clips here and there of uh, Hall Live members um, talking about stuff while playing Arc. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Yeah, watching and... watching our clip is fine, but what, watching, watching the full stream is watching yeah, Arc. No. Boring. <laughs> My, so yeah. how do you Mind see it? And, and that's why every Arc stream is a is secretly a talking stream. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's just more boring. I don't know. It's just something about the game is garbage. Okay, I mean, you know, if you if you watch Niji San, you know how boring it is. I think like I I'm not sure what you mean by the talking center arc because I I don't watch arc streams no matter which agency. But <laughs> but 
uh, her take on Ark was vastly very different from Gigi Sanji. And I would say it's right to say she spurred, you know, the own kind of like the revival of Ark because she, she what, she kind of promoted a new update or something like that, was it? I can't remember. Um, uh, not exactly. Sanji had their own. Yeah, Nishi Sanji had their own. So it's, you know, like, uh, you guys can elaborate on the Ark. We won't know much about it. But it's <laughs> good to know that she enjoys it. Yeah. I'm glad that you guys enjoy her arc streams, man. I I do not hate. I do not like arc at all. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't really like arc at all. But um, Kiri Koko is definitely a major, like, big, big fan of uh, of arc, and has even gone as far as to become a uh, executive producer for a uh, episode ah, of yeah. arc series called uh, Arc: yeah, The yeah. Lost Stories. Oh. Um, I believe it's a fan project. Maybe I'm not sure, but she's executive producer for that. Oh, wow, that's, um, that's something I don't know. That's yeah, I don't know. um, gotta give it like, to the the Kiryu Kai men, dude. They they are the dedicated fans, man. We we are, we are mm-hmm. bystanders in this. Okay, I gotta I gotta applaud Kiryu Kai because like we are like galaxy brain when it comes to thinking of like ways on super chatting, right? Because I think the the first one that got everyone's attention was the uh, the blue super chat way. Oh, and if you're aware of that, to the toilet. Yeah, <laughs> the, the RTA. <laughs> Toilet RTA. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. So, I think I think uh, in it's in Kiryu Koko's stream that I heard the term Toilet RTA. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think she did something similar. Maybe not from her. Maybe she didn't origin. She didn't come out with, but she definitely popularized the Toilet RTA kind of concept. Dude, it, it, yeah, it, she definitely it. popularized it. Um, how, how does girls like be like fast? how is this possible <laughs> guys we will never know they'll keep it a secret they'll keep it a secret why to get so that nobody beats their record first of all, <laughs> first of all how many flaws is the toilet Dude, I don't know, man. They could be on the <laughs> other side of the planet and it'll be done in 5 seconds, man they'll, whoop, they'll teleport there or something <laughs> Yeah, but she definitely did popular popularized the toilet RTA given how influential she was. Well, you know what? If if her legacy includes toilet RTAs, you know, good on her, man. Yeah. <laughs> good on her. Yeah, man. Definitely good on her. All right. Okay. Do you remember any other moments uh, aside? Well, um, Rainbow Chat. Did Ra- did Rainbow Chat originate from? Oh Kiyokos? my gosh, Rainbow Chat. She definitely popularized it. That's for sure. Because mm. um, uh, Kiryu Kai are kind of a. Uh, Probably oil barons at this point, <laughs> due to the amount of cash they're willing to drop. If oil you think barons. About it. Oil barons, for real. Because, like, there's two evidence of that. One, rainbow super chats, and also, no, three evidence. One is rainbow super chat. The other is, like, full-on red carpets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that Just was one stop red SCs. Like, drop that 10k yen easy. <laughs> And using multiple accounts to do it, to build that red carpet, right? Mm-hmm. You don't just have one account. You have multiple, like, sub-accounts so that you can do one after one after one after one. So it's just a full-on, like, mm. fam of red super chats. And uh, the other one is just people who are insane at buying merchandise and buying a ton of them to the point where it kind of feels unreasonable. <laughs> I mean, that's why, that's why Kiryu Koko is literally one of the, if not the... World's top earning super chat earner, not wrong, right? I think it's yes, like yes. It. number one it super is. chat. Close it's, 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 almost a million US dollars. Almost a million US dollars. dollars. Yeah, and the only person who can get somewhat close to that, and sometimes they switch places, but it's always Coco usually goes out on top. But like the only person who can challenge her on that role is Russia. Mm, mm, yeah, Russia. Russia, yeah, yeah. Russia who, 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 who called uh, Russia who called customer center Coco for Ark. Yeah, customer. For Ark. Yes. Yeah, was was there that one like situation one clip where like she, Rusha, Rusha would, Rusha would got play, stuck. Rusha would like when she was playing Ark, she would play like background music, like uh like free background music. She would play them off of YouTube instead of like downloading the music. And like, <laughs> like So there's Coco ads. Like, what the heck? <laughs> uh Gosh. Yeah. Oh no, no. Sorry. The 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 almost a million the figure that's outdated. Man, she's earned one and a almost one and a half million US dollars. One and a half. One and oh, a half. Gosh. How much is that in Philippine pesos, though? Okay. Or Indonesian okay. ringgit? Is it? Isn't that like let's say seventy five million pesos or something like that? That's fifty four million U- uh, pesos. That is crazy. Crazy, crazy. 
and and yeah. and, and, and and that's uh gross. That's just a gross because the net mm. will be done after cover gets their percentage. YouTube gets their percentage. So yeah. Yeah. And then we then, we talk about the nine 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 K bed. Is that the nine K bed? The nine K bed. The nine K bed, yes. Nine K bed. Mm. Yeah. And it's like if you had one thing to attract all the whole live members to come to your place, I think it's probably that. <laughs> the nine K bed. And the Holo House. Bed, yeah. Let's not forget the Holo House. house. It's Kiri Coco Legacy. Holo House. Yeah. Holo House is forever, dude. Like she um it was talked about also in um in Kanata stream after Coco did the announcement stream that um Coco would still be staying at Coco House for the time. Uh, sorry, uh, at oh, Hollow House. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's really house, much Coco yes. House. It's, 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 it's it is Coco House, man. It's Coco House. It's really it's Coco, Coco House. Coco house. Coco yeah, because she like she definitely brought up the idea and got like Kanata and Suisei on board with it. Um, she said um Kanata said that the um Coco would still be staying at the Hollow House for the time being. So, um, uh, even after the July one date. So who knows if um might you know barge in give Kanata some McDonald's maybe because like I remember there was that one clip where like yes um uh, that sort of thing happened that, that it was, happened it was Kanata yes Kanata's yeah yes yes okay, but or, yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's so tete it's so tete my gosh mm-hmm. the, I live for Kanata the whole life was, uh support each other so much um mm-hmm. I don't want to bring this up but uh when coco broke down in one of the stream yes oh yeah uh, that happened canada canada was like converting a right fuck yes like, this, mm-hmm. right, this is like actually friendship right there mm. i think we mentioned it before on our podcast episode yeah it's it's definitely let's just put it out there okay you vtuber dormitories vtuber kind of like living together you you read about that in manga like these are kind of things you dream about right there's, there's literally a manga about this. Yeah, guys, just quote me on this. You, Coco was the one who had the idea, you know, made it a reality. And we, us as fans, we are able to enjoy the fruits of her labor, right? You, you are able to see the kind of, like, freedom. I think the kind of, um, uh, the, the kind of interactions that can come out of a Hollow House, right? The idea that there is this central kind of meeting place for VTubers from one of the biggest agencies in the world come together and they can have collabs with each other, they can support each other, you know, they're, pre- they're practically living with each other. I mean, Coco and Kanatan, they're practically married, right? Yes, husband <laughs> and wife. Basically, yes, and that's why wife I have and this wife. background over Wife here. and wife. <laughs> wife and wife, look at that. Okay, look we at love, that. we love gay people here. So, <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> we love gay people here, so... Let's go, gay people. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Like, we, yeah, so, like, um, so you... Like we we are just naming down what part of a legacy, right? As as we keep going on, the, the 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 contribution she's made to this space just keeps growing. You know, when does it end? You never know. You she may even be a background supporting character for Cover Cop. You will never know. She's yes. just graduating as a VTuber. She may be elsewhere. Yes. we have a lot to thank for her. Definitely, we have a lot to thank her for. I mean, if if she gets out of cover, she will be one of the biggest advisors for VTubers. People will still seek her advice. He will be an oracle, and not just that. Uh, okay, so she she developed a concept already. A this is already a concept, a content house. So that's a content house right there, a uh, Holo mm-hmm. House, Holo mm-hmm. House Light. That's even called a light version, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and aside from that, the zany contents, the the say the the super chats, the you know, there, there's a lot of things we are very thankful for, uh, uh, for Kiro Coco, and also uh, Kiri, uh, Coco Kane, Coco Kane, Kane. Coco Kane. <laughs> Kane. Yes. The, the first EN member. The first, first EN. The first. EN. The, 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 EN no, Gen she, Zero. Actually, actually, she's not even uh, EN member. Right. She's a Holo this Holo Live Ho- USA member. Holo USA member. <laughs> yes. That's right. That's right. Hey, hey speaking of speaking of EN Zero. Remember that Coco, is this correct? Coco got into VTubing because of Hachama. Yes. Yes, I, and, I and, 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 the, and, and therefore uh, Coco became Hacha, one of Hachama's knights. Right? Mm. Right? Is that right? 
in a way. In yes. a way, in a way, yes. So in a way, yeah. You, you can see the connection between e, uh, th- th- there's a reason. I don't I don't know why they ended up the the E and zero concept. Maybe it's just a joke. Maybe Hololive told them to stop. <laughs> I don't, no, but, I don't um, know. yeah, but Hololive and def- uh, Gen Zero definitely became a thing that was talked about, especially since you know, um, Patron was definitely collabing with the EN members. Yes, for a while. Yes. Um, so there was that, and also a recognition that they are English speakers, and you know, um, they can provide content to the English audience, both Coco and Hachama. Um. Which is one of the things that you know propagated Hololive to a bigger audience in the first place, and I think that's perfectly fine either way. If it ha- if it, if like a Gen Zero becomes a thing or not, um, if not, then at least it's like a, a good in joke and like uh, a nice thing to to think about that like oh we must not forget they you know they brought the power of Hololive to English speakers uh, because of them being able to speak in English. Yes, huh. and 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 to think, guys, to think that Kiryu Koko's uh, announcement really broke the hearts of her colleagues. Uh, Muna's postponed her stream. Ke- uh, mm, Kiara yeah. Takanashi's can't, can still can't believe it. Uh, Zentreya Vishojo uh, said her uh, her thanks. There's there's a lot of things. I I, I think I've retweeted these things. All together is start from yeah. say yeah it's everyone actually Holo everyone. stars even Holo stars as well even Holo though they, stars, couldn't, yeah. they and, couldn't mention her name I don't know why footprints of the management meddling is in there but Holo stars each and every one of them paid their respects as well mm. uh, yeah mm. it's um oh, you can definitely uh, see your influence there mm. and speaking the, of stream yeah uh, yeah Goku I think on. okay I'm Goku. not sure if it's quite management because like. It's more so to do with the fact that like Holosaurus typically didn't interact with Coco before. Like there, like she met Coco mentioned in like a meme review about like Aruran and how like she doesn't really know who he is. She that's doesn't really check true. him out that much. So and also like Aruran asked um her his audience to try not to mention him too much on Coco's streams for no reason. Mm-hmm. Stuff like that. Um but yeah, like people across the board, like just before recording this, I was listening to Mio's karaoke and like she was in tears during the whole time. <laughs> and, oh my gosh. I swear. Uh, hey, hey, you were you, you mentioning something? Hey. Oh yeah, uh, speaking of streaming, um, Gogo is on Fubuki channel right now playing Uno. Yeah, playing Uno. I'll check <laughs> that out after this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She was like, you gotta, you gotta, you know, continue up uh, whatever kind of collapse you can until, you know, the final day of june uh july the first you know i mm. i i'm sure the fans just want to support her in any way uh, any way they can right and uno is like yeah okay uno amongst um hololife has a particular reputation of bringing bridging together vtubers from everywhere he has a reputation around this Sanji as well so i think it's a pretty fitting game for people to play you know when they just want to let loose talk about stuff yeah. it's a pretty good game Hololive Uno gets really, really whack, especially when they decide when they start to decide to do challenges or like in uh, uh like two, voice plus impressions. Two. Plus two, plus two. Not, not just that. <laughs> just, um, if you if you're aware, whole life uses a lot of the uh, whole life, Fubuki and Matsuri. They like to use uh Uno to collab with other agencies. Yeah, I'm not sure if you're aware of that. Mm. So it's definitely a fitting game to play. And I'm sure a lot of the fans are kind of flocking over to the the, the collab to just you know see Coco and you know support her mm. in, in the last in the this last month. Yeah, last couple of weeks for yeah the inevitable um, you know graduation. Yes, um, Eddie, you were talking about how like oh people want to do like everything for Coco during the la- the next uh the last few weeks. Uh, mm-hmm. And actually, I I am so proud that like a lot of us in the community, both as VTuber fans, Hollow fans, and also the Kiryu Kai, are currently trying their best to work together to make her send oh, off good. really good. That's nice. Um, so Kiryu Kai server has like a bunch of projects we were already working on beforehand before we knew about this for uh, since of course Coco's birthday is coming up, so mm-hmm. we were planning for that already. But um, I think we also now keep in mind about this. Um, 
this uh this, this graduation as well we're also planning for that now and um other people outside the Creative guy server like for example like translators and clippers i'm sure they're also planning things like that just earlier um blub managed to release a uh, a clip out that was like coco talking about how live and vtubers in general and i thought it was very fitting um with the whole situation at hand and um hopefully people get to learn more about what kind of like what coco wants to do i guess mm-hmm. and what what coco's uh, perspective on vtubing is and i think that lines up pretty well mm-hmm. definitely man. looking forward to that mm. I'm, I'm trying to look at the list of uh reasons or there, there's a list on reddit before i forgot what title it is it's stating everything 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 that kiro koko has done for not just hololive but the whole community of virtual youtubers not just as an entertainer not just as a mf so to say MF. Yeah. <laughs> yeah i think i have that i will yes, send let, it to you yes yes send it here so that we can read it all together to cap off uh, perhaps if you, if you if you still have any other things to you want to mention about Kirokoko and her legacy. Uh, okay, I'm, uh, thanks, thanks, Made Paisen. Paisen, right? So Paisen, <laughs> Paisen. So uh, it's also Paisen, yes. it's also her, <laughs> it's also her legacy. So legacy, yeah. All right, okay. And uh, one last thing, I guess, um, that I think we kind of forgot to talk about was: Have you guys actually checked out Coco's debut stream? No, no, no. Actually, yes. Ah, okay. So I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> Um, no, I no because uh, when when I started watching, it wasn't with Coco. Yeah, but she she debuted only slightly shortly before I started watching YouTubers, so I didn't manage to catch that. She was kind of already right. in. Like if when I started watching, really started watching, Asa Coco was a thing already. Yeah, so I didn't really manage to check her debut. Out. What what yeah. do you what's what's uh, so um you know uh, amazing about her debut? Well, I'm glad you asked, Eddie. <laughs> so actually, before I, I'll preface um. I like you. I kind of started out kind of late with v- with with Hall Live and also with with this current generation of VTubers. I started around like August ish, so maybe around after her 3D debut stream, mm-hmm. right? Um, so I didn't get to experience what was like in happening in 2019 or even like January, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, January 2020, right? Um, because because I was busy with uni with university, um, and. People in the Curie Guy server were like, okay, Coco did like a rewatch of uh, of her past streams. We should also kind of do that. So mm-hmm. we did, we kind of did a group rewatch of her debut stream. And there were some things where like you felt like, oh, this is the source of like everything that goes on later on in, in Coco's career as a whole live YouTuber. So in her debut stream, she starts off singing, um, uh, a Disney song, if I'm not mistaken. Let it go. Um, uh, let it go. Is that let it no, go? No, 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 no. Um, I I forgot. But like under the sea. I no. think was it from? No, no, no. no. I forgot. It's been, it's been a while. But like, um, so there's that, and then, uh, the premise of Kiri Coco actually is that she joined Hololive because she accidentally like um smashed down the entire whole life building in her dragon form and put <laughs> oh yeah part of your world yes i remember that's the one yeah and put yago in icu <laughs> <laughs> and then yago became a a, a a a a joke afterwards yeah i'm sure well i mean yago was kind of a joke before it yes. not gonna lie. <laughs> it just propagated it even more mm. um but yeah like uh so she was like okay i'll be a vtuber to pay off my debt to all I and did she? Uh, I guess with this, I guess I can say she definitely paid that debt and double that. Or you and it's it's Japan. like it's like if there's this show called uh, Naoki Hanzawa uh, by Gashi, so double payback. Mm. If if you're familiar with double payback, so okay. Um, is is I uh, anything else? Uh, eighty right. 
All right. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just I wasn't paying yeah. attention, to, uh, but I'm wondering what's gonna happen to Hollow Life Alt. Ah yes, Hollow Life Alternative. Uh, it was, yeah. Okay, it was clarified go, go. earlier. <laughs> it was clarified earlier in her talking stream that, um, that mm-hmm. if like if Cover still wants to use like Coco, especially as a character in Hollow Alt, they can definitely do that because. Ko clarified earlier that like she wants like once she graduates she's gonna become what's called like Hall Life OG Gen One, mm. where it's like, oh I, yeah like I'm I'm an OG member I used to be part of Hall Life that mm-hmm. sort of thing uh, when you retire. So Hall so, Life alumni. Hall Life alu- oh, yeah I guess that's one way to go about it Hall Life alumni. Mm-hmm. So she says that oh if if they want her to appear in Hall of Alt that's definitely like she's definitely okay with it and that's gonna happen mm, nice. and mm. people that's yeah nice. people. Alongside with that whole alt question, people are always wondering, like, are the archives going to stay up? How is, you know, is something, something, something? Is the account going to be deleted? Blah, blah, blah. Because we've had situations like these before with other VTubers where their accounts get wiped, their videos get wiped. Yes. And Coco confirmed earlier that nothing is going to get wiped aside from membership-only stuff. And oh, that, okay. mm-hmm. even that, right, after the July 1 date, we have a three-month deadline to, you know, for for that before everything in membership gets wiped and the only reason that's going to get wiped is because the channel itself is going to be demonetized which includes getting rid of the membership program and when you get rid of the mm-hmm. membership program you have to get rid of the membership content so um and that's how youtube works so also okay. if people if people join after coco graduate where's the money gonna go man <laughs> like of course, mm-hmm. we gotta leave, it to, leave it up to management to figure out. All I know is I'm keeping my, I'm gonna keep on paying for my membership until I reach the 12 month mark, which hopefully <laughs> should be possible because I'm on my, I'm nearing my ninth month. It's only like a week before my ninth month. So and once you reach your 12 month, 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 so you, when you reach your badge, <laughs> <laughs> the badge. Okay, so once you reach your 12 month, hopefully it catches up with the deadline. Yes, you, you can, hope, that's you, what I'm hoping. You can screenshot that proof until <laughs> the membership gets cut off from Coco's channel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, God, God yeah. willing, God willing, you, uh, you'll go there. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for that. Um, unfortunately, the other Kiryu guy are not so mm. fortunate to even get a membership. And honestly, to them, mm. I just want to say that like that's perfectly fine. Because like you, I'm sure even the members, even the Hollow members, don't want you to spend money that like you should be spending somewhere else in your life. So yes. like the best that you can do, honestly, which I think is like perfectly fine, is to just like support them in your own way. Um, that doesn't have to include memberships or super chat. Even just sharing the streams, even just interacting in chat, that means the world to any content creator, not just VTubers, any content creator. And I can say that as someone who's streamed before. If you just someone who's talking in chat, just talking to a streamer, just like, you know, sharing the stream to other people, that means as a just being a fan just means so, so, so much. And I think people discredit that. People take that for granted, honestly. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so we've heard from the side of the uh, one of uh, the biggest names in the community. Uh, well, all of you are big. Uh, all uh, all of you are big names in the community. I'm just a yeah. small guy <laughs> living in a small <laughs> world. No, 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 no. Sir, I'm gonna have to press X to doubt. That's kind of sus, man. Kind of kind of sus. That's looking a bit sussy. Mm. <laughs> sussy. British, British. <laughs> oh, can, can we end with our impression of Coco? Yes. Impersonation of Coco. Oh my god, I, I've never done it before. I have no <laughs> Well, let's just pretend to be some corporate mouse, I guess. Oh gosh. Oh. Wait, no, <laughs> hey, you brought the idea. Come on, let's hear your impression of Coco. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> fucking... Okay, I'll start, okay? All right. Oh, 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 oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You know, I'm not okay. gonna even try. You, know, you, uh, you, you guys can have your fun. You guys can have your fun. Nah, you yeah, got nah, man. man, we we are we're all in this together. This is something. 
Oh my Now you guys God. are just doing Mickey Mouse. How does Coco sound like? <laughs> what is that, motherfuckers? <laughs> she just speaks in a Morning, false Morning, motherfuckers. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Oh, there is. Who was that? 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 Who was just lucky. <laughs> if, you ever, if you ever miss her, you know, if you're ever like, ah, oh, shit, Coco's gone, right? Just, just keep giving yourself, like, keep, just keep speaking in Coco's voice. You know, like, you're like, oh, yeah, she's back, man. Mm. <laughs> okay, it's, it's, now, it's, it's your turn now. No, I really try, man. You get, no. No. I'm gonna leave you out to Jay to end today's today's show, you know. <laughs> All right. How do we end on this? Okay, so I'm ending with the uh, the the one that Reddit thread that I requested uh, Made that Made gave to us. Okay, so things that Coco has done that newcomers should know. One, she made Asa Coco. Uh, it's a new morning habit at that time. It satirizes the morning shows never done before. Six in the morning. That's six in the morning Japan time, I guess. Mm -hmm. Hey, I, 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 yeah, I gotta say, I gotta say, Asako, like waking up for Asako has been the best thing ever for, you know, for every student ever it's... who's had to deal with online classes. I swear to God, that is my alarm just trying to wake up for Asako. Oh. And I was like so sad it was gone because, like, yes. oh, how am I gonna wake up early now? <laughs> yes. Um, okay. Wait, can, can I be honest? Yes. Yes. I never watched a single episode of. Oh Asako. my god! Oh you got you got god. to watch it right now while it, uh, while it's still there. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I mean, You've it's never... always gonna be there. You've it's never watched good. a single episode of Asakoko even as an archive. Yeah, never. They, they were yeah. English subs. Come <laughs> on. Subs. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like watching it now, watching it now, it's gonna some a lot of the jokes are gonna fall flat because it's out of context. Right, because yeah, it, like Asa Koko was really good because it played with a lot of what was happening then. Like, yeah, like, it was very you know, timely. Yes. Yeah, it's very yeah. timely. So you're gonna see. Oh, I think I watch. I think I think I watch one Asa Koko when um, fuck. Uh, was there an Asa Koko where they like, like uh, giving info about the whole life Indo debut? I, I don't I see why not. I was yeah, there for that. Probably. I don't see probably, why not. I don't yeah. think I was there if that. I, I don't think I don't think I, I was there too. I'm kind of yeah. I'm kind of confused as to the dates when like Gen Four and like ID debuted. Mm. So I, I have I'm not sure about that. Mm. But if if the dates line up, then I wouldn't see why not. Um, but yeah, even just actually even like not many people actually. Um, started by like watching the stream. Some people started by watching clips of Asakoko. So the the um one of the biggest parts of hmm. Asakoko was the skits, the commercials, the CMs. Yes, yes, the CM time. I love that. I love that. Luna, yeah, this... zero year old baby saying <laughs> stuff. Uh, the the Asakoko drink, the energy drink, the yeah. the the Asakoko the University, Asakoko the Asakoko, <laughs> oh the Asakoko hot springs, the Asakoko. Um, I, I didn't see an Asakoko bank though. I don't know why. Yeah, it, yeah, but it does keep showing up in super chat. So at least like people are sort of aware that it exists. Yes. Um, and 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 that and that commercial for Hololive English. Yes. It, yeah, it's V. It's free. It's V. <laughs> it's V. Oh, really, oh really, my gosh. Really, that, that's real estate, dude. She's such a cultured individual that she yeah. has that that yeah that. That's that's good. My gosh, it's it's VTuber like, all alive. <laughs> <laughs> but not just that. Like the CMs are also a good way to get more people to collab with uh with Coco or just to start collabs like out of nowhere. Yes, this gives this space for it to be possible and to show off what the members are actually good at beyond just playing games or chit chatting or whatever. It go it it allows them to bring their own creativity into the table into you know they get to figure out what kind of cm what kind of skit they can do and that definitely helped out people like corona especially with like her um her like hotate tetaho skit. hotate tetaho yes that, yeah that's so iconic and like um uh, that wouldn't have been possible without 
it showing up in Asakoko. All yes. of this is just nostalgic to me. Man. It is. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Also, yeah. I just found this on the Reddit thing that you guys shared. And holy shit, this, uh, like, do you guys remember this? Oh, yeah. Um, like, yeah, yeah referring to the, to the rough, uh, the rough stream with Aqua. Uh, at this time, Aqua was struggling because of, like, her, her like, controversies with the Super Smash Brothers stuff. And do, do you remember the Aqua? Yes, yes, yes. I do, I do, I do, I do. And it's I don't think I was there for that. I I do remember it, and I talk about I I talk about it in one of the previous podcasts, and I was so angry, I was so furious. (laughs) Oh man, stupid ass controversy. But Aqua was really down with because of this, and Coco asked to play uh, rough with her, and they talk about the hardship of streaming and stuff, Mm -hmm. and. Uh, th- I feel like this is such an important stream for Aqua because she was really down at the time. Mm, it's it's a really yeah. it's a re- in fact it's a really important stream for us viewers as well because it wasn't um hey I'm talk- I'm collaborating with a collaborating with a VTuber and the fans are there. It was a hey I'm collaborating with v- uh, with a VTuber a colleague and we are talking. Right, nobody's here to go and like kill- nobody's here to to um to disturb us. So as a viewer, you're literally just watching two streamers pour their hearts out, you know, talk about their hardships and Coco was comforting her, like how, how, like giving her, literally giving her advice, even though she's technically like, um, I guess like a junior in terms of, in whole life, she's a junior, but in terms of streaming, she's like, she has years of experience under her belt, right? So definitely, I think it's a very important stream for both Aqua, for Coco as well, as well as viewers like us to just kind of take a very rare peek into what streaming is like and what streamers have when like what kind of hardships or what kind of thoughts they face you know when they are basically doing creating content for well, hundreds of thousands of viewers mm. Mm. and i, I want to cry i want to cry again and <laughs> that's okay that's Dude, okay. this that, gotcha. that, 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 that translation video was is an hour long and I, and I highly recommend anybody who listens to the podcast to check it out. I, not even just like, hey, you know, I'm interested, but really just to know how it's like, you know, um, when two VTubers, hmm. you know, they're down, uh, one is comforting the other. In a very, very chill game, I highly recommend Rough, by the way. I'm going to plug it there. <laughs> I'm plugging it out there. But <laughs> oh just, just, just to peek into like the VTuber, really like a life of a VTuber and death kind of like uh, their take on how it's like. Because we, all, as fans, we all can only see the finished by pro- the finished products, right? Yeah. We don't see how it's like to create content. What kind of backlash you face when you're trying to make content you think the viewers will like, but, you know, you're, maybe the way the words you say are wrong or the way you express them is something people might find, take offense to or find, mm. uh, or find some way of nitpicking. Mm. So definitely, I think it's a video everybody should look at. Yes. Even yeah. though it's an hour long. I cannot imagine living like you know, like <laughs> every every like every words that you said it could be it could be used against you. That yeah, you get cancelled every all day. Fucking tough. Right? Yeah, that's, that's tough. Yeah, yeah. Because you yeah. think about how prolific VTubers are right now compared to when that when that stream aired, and even then there was this huge backlash from the, the Chinese fans, you know, in Bilibili as well. Aqua yeah, the mainlanders, huge. yes. Yeah, yeah, they have a huge follow. Uh, Aqua has a huge following in there. So this, I, I tell you, this, this, this clip is, or at least this stream is definitely gonna go in the um, I would say the 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 history of VTubing. If you know, if you ever see a VTuber museum, which there are, by the way, <clears throat> this clip should definitely be in there. Just Coco as a whole should be should be there mm-hmm. definitely. She um... should have a whole memorial or statue or something. <laughs> Yeah. Well, not well. We it can be a statue, or it can be a full frame photo of Ko- Kiryu Koko donning Ki- cool. uh, Kazuma Kiryu's clothes in Yakuza. You put it in your desk, uh, and then it's on your back. It represents you. It represents your ideals, your beliefs. You're free, mm-hmm. something like that. And going back to the the, the Reddit thread that <clears throat> that uh, we shared earlier, we haven't gone through the list. We just started from number one. We we go yeah, back to so number there, two, man. the Watame Kusozako mm. internet. We mentioned that earlier. The arc addition, <clears throat> arc addiction. We mentioned that the blue super chats to signify flushing. 
um, Streamlabs. Remember the time when oh, some Hololive oh VTubers gosh. got demonetized? Stream Labs. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, that, was, that was cute coming from That was cute. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You and, can understand oh why they didn't go with Streamlabs, but it would have been a good idea. It's a great idea. She proposed, she fought hard for it. It didn't work out, but that's it just go it just goes to show like she's always thinking, right? How can I make my colleagues and my viewers' lives easier? Yes. Yeah, and, mm. and not not to mention like she that's what she, um Hollow ID still uses. Yeah, um, because, since Beam Labs. Chat still Indo- disabled because and... Indonesia itself doesn't have uh super chat. We don't have super chat here. I, I wonder yeah, just memberships. I, I, I just wonder why. Because uh, I because I, I, I treat like Indonesia I treat Indonesia the same way I treat the Philippines. Parallel universes. It's a parallel universe. <laughs> we, we, you have, you have, you have Bima Satria Garuda. We have Zaido. You have, we have Itbulaga, and you have your Indonesian franchise. Rafler was there for one time too. So yeah, I, I, I can go back and back and back and that. And I've made friends within the uh, otaku community in Indonesia, especially with the ones mm-hmm. from Kaurin Santara and uh, the, the guys. Uh, we did a podcast uh, a few episodes before, so on and so forth. And uh, I w- also would like to mention Journal Otaku Indonesia. Thank you for your service. I haven't <laughs> read you, but you, you, I believe for eight oh, yeah, years you, of you your... Just, yeah. You just non close. Yeah, for eight years. Eight years. Yeah. Nobody oh, stays damn. for more than that. So that's a history. Uh, all right. So okay, moving back to the list. You you remember PPT's T-shirts? Oh my gosh, dude! Like, um, what what's the Japanese word for it? Dasa or something? Dasa. <laughs> yeah, Coco made yeah, a meme out of it. Pretty and, lame. Not yeah, it, yeah. It, it, yeah. Well, it it sold out after yeah, Coco's a recommendation, I guess. And uh, Holo House, yes, Holo House, Holo House Live, Reddit memes. Uh, she's comforting people. There's Holo Live USA, which became Holo Live EN, and yeah. all that. And the list goes on. Thank you very much to you slash Rowden30 on Reddit's uh, Holo Live Reddit for uh, mentioning everything. That, that this was a, an important. This is an important thread. I I will share this in the description. Same with the 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 raft stream that uh, in the uh, eighty mentioned. So there's a lot of things that we are thankful for uh, for Kirikoko. Uh, she is a blessing to every one of us VTuber fans. VTubers saved my life in 2020 at the time where I cannot go to events. I cannot go meet cosplayers. I cannot take photos and all that. I, I cannot enjoy the my life the way I wanted to. I'm stuck in a rut. And VTubers were a way to cope with everything that has happened, even until now. Um, and Kiro Koko is part of it. No matter how... I, I, do have, I, I do admit I have a love and hate relationship with Kiro Koko regarding uh, her or her fans or the situations, the circumstances that we've been through. But overall, the, the good things outweigh the bad things to me. So wherever... I'm, I'm, uh, wherever she goes, uh, we, we'll 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 see her through. And besides, if you know, you know. <laughs> uh, right. Also, if 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 uh, you, you mentioned, you guys mentioned earlier that if Coco's out of Hololive production, she could be in a managerial position in Cover. I mean, is that nope, correct? She could be. Could be. Or she could be, or she could do her own. VTuber company, that's also a possibility. Yeah, sure. We don't know. We don't know. And I don't. I don't think we'll ever know. Um, but e- whatever may happen, we're always gonna be there to support Gogo because, yes. like, because of the amount of impact that she's brought into uh, VTubing as a whole. And I don't think anyone is ever gonna forget, you know, the amount of work, the the amount of like mm-hmm. weight that she'd had to pull on her back just to bring about this culture literally um globally yes yeah yes so any final words from all of you final words like what like parting words parting or like words. last <laughs> words parting like words gonna kill us he's gonna kill us <laughs> yeah yeah uh, okay let's start with the the uh the guys that the chairman chairman please 
uh, state your parting words. Yeah, man. Chairman of a- a- hating. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, fuck. I don't know. <laughs> We've never really been good with words, right? Both yeah. Us. Uh, we always end our like recording with. Uh, what's your memory? <laughs> <laughs> you should do a watch Kiryu Koko, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah, watch Kiryu Koko until July 1st. Not until July no, 1st, what? until yeah, just keep... like forever, you know? Yeah, yeah, K- yeah Kiryu Koko forever, yeah, they say. She, she, like, she, she just tweeted something like about immort- yeah, Immortal Kiryu Koko. So I think that's her new title. Immortal mm. Kiryu Koko. Oh, yeah, immortal yeah, yeah, Kiryu Koko. That's, that's, yeah. that's, right. that's how we're going to refer to her from now on. Immortal, immortal yeah. Kiryu Koko. So dragons, you need, dragons you need to say the immortal part. The immortal Kyo Koko. Yeah. Well, technically, yeah. dragons are immortal, right? I mean, yeah. sure. Like, there's a lot of cultures that they are immortal. So, hey, that's you know, so fitting. So fitting. Dude, immortal yeah, you don't, you don't even. That's not like a wrestler. This is gonna be a wrestler. <laughs> 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 oh, no. You know, see, okay, I can't, I can't disagree with you. Stardom. Yeah, I can't disagree with you because of the uh, because of Subaru's uh, wrestling move that got used. Oh, yeah, to uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you don't regret Okan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Lucky you, Mighty Python. These two are into wrestling too, or maybe ATS. Yeah. Are you here? Uh, Python. Wait, Mighty Python is into wrestling. Mm, are you into wrestling? Not, not so much. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, oh, only not real? So okay, much, fuck. Yeah. Okay. But actually, like. NUJP does interest me a little bit, especially because NJPW. of people like Kenny. Because NJPW. Because like, yeah, yeah. of people like Kenny Omega. Um, oh, yeah. Kenny Omega is the same. Yeah. <laughs> Kenny Omega is, uh, is in <laughs> AEW nowadays. Yeah, AEW. Yeah. Oh, no, we're not going to talk about wrestling. We're going to. Oh, my. Let's not talk about wrestling. Maybe, <laughs> maybe if you invite us to your podcast. Or maybe you can build a new podcast about wrestling, I guess. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not that into wrestling, but single, maybe oh <laughs> every single goddamn time, any episode, <laughs> wrestling gets brought up somehow. Again, <laughs> you, you literally go back to what we're talking. Look at the first episode, all the way to the last one. Every single episode has some mention of wrestling. It doesn't matter how. This- doesn't matter when he'll just bring up wrestling. Hey, but oh, that VTuber resembles a wrestler. You know what, dude? I'm. You know what? At this point, I'm into wrestling. Whatever. It's, I'm, I'm, it's I'm, not. <laughs> it's not my fault. that VTubing <laughs> and fucking wrestling have a lot of parallel, dude. Yeah, dude. There's so they many. There's a dude. lot of thing in common, like mm. like a character and stuff. Fuck yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, there's two sides to that. Like, I don't want to diverge too much into the wrestling, um, tangent. But like. There's two sides, like, cause like there's one, there's like the part that like Gigox mentioned before, where like oh the character this and that. But also I want to bring up like what Risu talked about when it comes to like when people think about wrestling and VTubers, where it's like mm. they show like Risu's point was like they show so much of themselves into every day to the point where it's like can you still somewhat consider this as a character or is it really just actually them I mean, as a person? Yeah, mm-hmm. but so... wrestling nowadays it's not it's not even like about character anymore it's like about real life people too mm-hmm. that's what yeah that's why you have that is that going for as well imagine you know makito oh yeah makito oh my okay fine fine <laughs> I, I get it oh my god i get it man i'm gonna watch the best thing. what the heck i'm so what? what do you want me to say man i'm so <laughs> I get it. Man. <sighs> you don't have to keep telling me to watch wrestling. Man. I get it. Bro. I love VTubers. Okay, I love I love wrestling as well, man. It seems AA has won. All right, <laughs> yeah, I've won. <laughs> yeah, okay. Anyway, anyway, uh, back back to the um the send off, right? Last words. I don't think I need to say anything that hasn't been already been said. Uh, I don't think I need to say anything that has already been said here. So, you know, we know we know how much she's done. You know her contributions. As a Niji Sanji fan, we look over and we see what she's done. We have parallels here. Like I cannot imagine somebody like Mito graduating. So the day when that day comes, I'll cry just like how you cry. You know, it's it's the same, right? Uh, but I've I, whole life will always have a special place in my heart because that's where I kind of started from, right? Uh, and I've always been following Coco's uh, progress and growth. Not like not super close, but uh, I I see. 
you know, you see her influence kind of take shape and evolve and you can see the waves kind of branch off and you can see it take effect in Digisan, even though it's not very directly. She doesn't really collect much um, outside anyway. But um, I'm just going to say as a fan, I'm uh, as I'm as sad as you guys, I'm sad to see her go, but I do wish her all the best, you know. Whether she ends up in the original position which, which she applied for, which is the manager the manager in Polo Life, or wherever her streaming career takes her, or maybe somewhere completely different. I'm just glad to see that, you know, she has so many fans supporting her. She has uh, a lot of people who recognize her efforts. And honestly, it's quite heartening to see this, you know, as a VTuber fan who wants to bring the world of VTubers out. In fact, I don't need to do it anymore, you know? Like, when we, when AK and I, we came out with the virtual talking, our idea was... Uh, a VTuber, a, a podcast about VTubers by VTuber fans for VTuber fans, right? The idea was we could, you know, spread the love and joy about VTubers. But, you know, then we saw you know, people like Coco, people like Mito, they do their work. They let, they bring VTubers into the international stage. People like us, we can't compete, man. All we can do is talk about her. <laughs> yes. So, all I can say is just, you know, I'm glad, I'm glad she was a part of her life. And I'm glad that, you know, she has things she wants to do. And I'm glad that she has fans that will support her. My dear Paisen. Right. This this is going to be difficult for me as someone who's been supporting Coco very closely for a long, long while. I was there during a lot of uh, what she's been through. Not necessarily there from the beginning, um, but it is definitely hard for me and the rest of Kiryukai. And you know that that's why like another thing that I request from everybody, not just to you know, I, I said this before on Twitter. Please don't you know do things that you shouldn't even be doing, like speculation, like you know, like um, what do you call this, or just bring about things that shouldn't be brought about. Like, um, I think we're gonna need the space to figure this out, um, to come to terms with it because this was definitely a shock for me, uh, for everybody in Chiricai, even for the Hollow members, it was. Even though they've been informed beforehand, it's still, it's still, uh, they're still figuring this out. And, you know, that's the other request that Coco did, uh, Coco mentioned was like, don't try not to mention it too much on other people's streams. And, um, yeah, it, like, I, cause there was this thing also mentioned that, like, some of the Hollow members tried to, tried to convince her not to leave. Um, but that was, you know, it, it goes to show that peop- that even people in Hollow Life, even the Hollow members, love her just as much as we do as fans. And um, yeah, there there's still gonna be a lot of us just like, you know, crying a little bit and just you know, trying to trying to figure this all out. So we're gonna spend these last two weeks trying to do that and also trying to do our best to give her a proper send off. Um, through different different projects, whether that be related to art, translation, or uh, memes, or anything of the sort, or music, or anything like that. We're, we're definitely going to try our best, and if you're part of the Hollow community, if you're part of any VTuber community and you want to help out, that that would be good, uh, especially for the Kiryu guys out there who don't uh, who don't interact with the community much. If you have something to contribute, that would also be super nice if you can help us out. Um, and uh, I think, how, do, how should I end this? Um, I hope that moving forward with with VTubers, I hope that there will be more people like Kiryu Gogo, not in an exact way, but through the ideals mm-hmm. that she represented, which mm-hmm. is her like her being a hard worker, being bold, bold, free spirited, and like a, a ball of creativity, like limitless creativity, and that's something that has definitely inspired a lot of people to become VTubers. Um, and like she mentioned, she's pretty grateful that like there are people out there who started VTubing because of Coco. And um, I hope that as a VTuber fan, you get to support those people as well. Those who've, who've watched Coco and became VTubers themselves and who've learned from that and, you know, is starting out their own careers, you know, because like, as time goes on, there's going to be more VTubers popping up and we got to do our best as like, uh, as VTuber fans to support them. And um, this, this, this is. Sorry if I'm I'm having a hard time, but like, it, you know, this is maybe you could call it an end of an era. Maybe you could call it a beginning of sorts. But no matter what you call it, it's still gonna hurt 
because of how close we've uh, we've been as fans to to Coco and to her activities as part of Hollow Life. So, um, yeah, I just hope that everyone can keep supporting Coco to the end and her whatever she wants or needs to do in the future. Um, I hope she. Uh, I hope you guys, as VTuber, uh, as VTuber fans, can support her, even if you haven't heard of Coco before or anything. Maybe now might be the time to check her out. Maybe, maybe some clips. Maybe your streams. Mm-hmm. You know, it's never too late, honestly. And mm-hmm. I know that for a lot of people, this is their first time experiencing someone who's graduating, uh, experiencing a VTuber who's graduating, especially those who are solely in whole life this is the first time experiencing a natural choice driven graduation not something that's caused by drama or um or like you know some emergency or anything like that this was by her own choice and we're gonna have to come to terms with that we're gonna have to accept that um so yeah it, it's it's definitely new and it's like it, it's gonna take some time especially for a lot of people so. um yeah, I think I think I'll end it there. Just uh, we're just gonna need some space. We're gonna need. We're gonna, we're gonna need a lot of copium. Copium, bro. Copium. Copium. Okay, co-copium we now. As- okay, ladies and gentlemen, we now have coined a new kind of chemical here at the Breaking <laughs> Bad Labs. It's called oh copium. Copium. Yes. Okay. I think yes. I'll, I'll 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 put that in the description. The the I'm one thing. Curious, the one thing that I remember with Kira Coco is she mentioned my name. I asked a question, Ooh. Super Chat. Adobo gang? Chicken or pork adobo? She said oh. pork adobo. Let's go! <laughs> pork Dude. adobo. And, and I, I all... felt... Yeah, right. Um, I... I... Yeah, go, go, go. I felt such national pride just hearing that Coco. <laughs> 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 Bro. Is that, is that, is that I was like, yes, please. <laughs> I'm proud, proud of my country here. Yes, that is a Filipino <laughs> reference. Yes. Oh, uh, okay. Well, um, yes. uh, and, and you know uh, about that, I, I was dreaming of one day if Kiro Coco comes to some con here in the Philippines, if this pandemic wasn't even here in the first place, if Coco's here, uh, people would tour her to some place where they serve world class Filipino adobo, pork adobo, no? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, I gotta give her the best. And, ha- and, yeah, and if, if, if she has Hachama with her, we could tour her back to Jollibee where she started from. <laughs> yeah. uh, I always believe that Hachama is made in the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> Philippine I, tap I, I water, argue. malakas! Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. It's, 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 Philippine tap water is so powerful to water. build Hachama. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. My gosh. And that's why we don't drink Philippine tap water here. <laughs> because we because we become hachama. Because we know better. <laughs> we because know. we become hachama. Not everyone wants <laughs> to become hachama. Yeah. Oh yeah. So oh my gosh. These 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 things bring back memories and uh, I I was I was trying to in, ingest the the, the the moment that you know Made, you you you, sh- you shared your story earlier. It, it's it's, it's it's really sad. I I was in tears because yeah, yeah. okay, the man who right. okay, okay. <laughs> <There, there, laughs> let it no, out, bro. And, and, let it out, bro. Dude, it's okay, man. Hey, over here is a crybaby. It's okay. You know, we have, you know, dude, I cried a lot when you brought no. up. Fucking yeah, dude. man. I really shed. I, I really shed a tear. I never expected to shed a tear because I I I have a problem with shedding tears. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the the thing about this is that this is her legacy. This is the Kirikoko legacy. Mm-hmm. This all of this, and yeah. we are very thankful. Again, again, we've said it enough. We've never said it enough. I guess we're we're thankful for Hiro Coco. Thank, thank you, Coco, for being here. This is your legacy. This is this is why we're here, gathered here, sober. Some of us are sober. sober. Some of us are sober. Some of us are still recovering from a hangover. <laughs> Some of us still need Coco Pium. <laughs> oh my God, dude. <laughs> And yeah. and on that note, I will close the podcast. So, Made Paisen, where do we find you? Um, you can find me at 
at Madekuji underscore San or also at madekuji.github.io for some of my VTuber related projects. Um, yeah, actually, before we go, I want to end with one last memory because like you get to have your own. I'll have my own. <laughs> Everybody will. <laughs> yeah, I think we should end with like our favorite memory of Kiryu Koko. I yeah. think that's a good way to end it. Um, one of the things that we did as a Kiryu guy, as people who somehow had money in the wallet for some reason, um, one of the uh, one of Coco's like like fans who was also a big like translator, uh, Felix, like he he decided that uh, he wanted to plan out like for us to do what's called a coordinated super chat. So like he gave us a prompt that like. Uh, something to do with PPD, one of Coco's uh, hackers, aka like uh, Coco's dad. Uh, she called Papa Dragon or PPD. Um, and then we made like he had, uh, made like a super chat for that. And then he was like, "Okay, are you guys ready to super chat this exact same thing with this exact same price?" And then we're <laughs> all gonna do it at this at like in sequence. And then you we were like. All right, I'm setting I'm setting up my my GCash, my PayPal, my wallet. I'm setting it up. I'm setting up my YouTube super chat. Okay, we're ready. Let's do this. And then <laughs> it was kind of horrible timing because at that moment she was talking about her ties <laughs> and um, she was focusing on that instead of chat. So <laughs> oh no, oh no. But um, at the end, like we we did the thing. It, we were lucky that it was a lot of us who somehow had money to do it. So we did it one by one, like. Uh okay, did one guy did the su- one of us did the super chat, 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 but also copied some other things that were not supposed to be copied. So like <laughs> they're, they're not supposed to copy this thing from Discord and they included the timestamp. It's like bro, <laughs> <the plan." laughs> okay. Yeah, and then I did the super chat as well. And then at the end of it, like she managed to read one of it. It was nearing the end, like nearing the last <laughs> Kiryu Kai <laughs> and then she managed to read like one of the last ones and then she was suspicious like wait why are you guys sending the why are you guys sending the same super chat <laughs> <laughs> and then and then the last thing that she said was like I know you guys are all friends <laughs> that, <laughs> that's pretty good friends that, friends <laughs> friends <laughs> friend <laughs> we'll talk about no, but, Fuboki some other time but some yeah. other time but, yeah, but that made it clear to me that like she definitely recognizes us Kiryukai and that like we're definitely connected as Kiryukai, um, either as friends or either as acquaintances, people who just like saw each other on Twitter or saw each other on a Discord server. And it's like, um, Coco brought us together and like helped us meet new people. And you know, I'm so proud of that. And I that's a memory that I'm never gonna forget. And I'm honestly like super thankful for. And one last thing, I guess I I need to warn people because like I've went through this as well. It's like for those of you guys, especially including me, who are afraid of checking out new VTubers because eventually there's that fear that like oh they're because they're from this agency they're probably going to graduate earlier or like they have a, a tendency of people graduating. Please don't be scared. I'm also telling that to myself. Don't be scared. <laughs> like this can happen mm. to anyone, and we gotta accept that people. People just have to leave for different purposes or it's because they're not happy anymore with this sort of thing. But we, as fans, we got to do what we can while they're still here. Um, mm-hmm. Because like, things don't last forever, but we can sure as hell make them last for a long time and help them out while they're still, while they're still here, while they still have that, you know, that newness in them or while they're still around. Even the people who are still going for long we also have to keep supporting them as well. So yeah, don't be afraid. I'm also telling that to myself, so don't worry. Yeah. All right. So Chairman, Chairman 80, Chairman 80. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Chairman 80 of <laughs> 80 Inc. Come on. <laughs> why, why, why do I, you always put me first? Okay, hold on. Oh, well, you're the special <laughs> guest, man. I, unlike, unlike you guys, I don't have like any special memory of Coco, but... um. I will. I will tell you guys why. Um, one of what one of the least favorite thing about Coco. See, because of her, um, Hoshio Martin started saying I'm horny, and oh, I, I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> I hate uh, that so much. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. What oh do my you god. Mean? <laughs> she, she's a he's a Marine. Oh, uh, she, she, he, oh, she's uh, Marine. Oh, she's so. Marine. 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 Oh, she's two Marines, right? I, I, 
I, I was okay. I was okay when like the first couple of jokes, like I'm horny, ha <laughs> Okay, I'm horny. All right, okay. Nah. Like, <laughs> I, one year later, she still she still saying it. <laughs> she still saying it. Hey, hey, but, tell yeah. that to the to the Fubuki fans with their yabe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, yeah, man. I'm we're friends. Oh, yeah, man. It's something about it, man. Something just keep yeah. repeating the same but, words, man. Yeah. Well, honestly, if they're having fun with it, you know, I don't mind because that's mm. their choice, you know. Still, they enjoy it a lot, then that's good. People, yeah. people, keep, also, people keep using it. I can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like it's also like people do get tired of it, including the talents themselves. So <laughs> I think that given some time, they might be able to figure out some new things. And it's also it's also a good way, like those things, like hi friend or like. I'm horny. It's like those are pretty much like gateway drugs into like learning English, you know. Oh, like you yeah. know, you know, you know uh, this when you learn a language. I'm horny. <laughs> yeah. All right. Imagine, 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 uh, imagine. I guess I'm getting coded for that. <laughs> no, okay. Bonk. There's, there's some Japanese child out there, and their first Japanese that they knew is I'm horny. Think about it. When you're trying to learn a different language, you always try to learn to, like more often than not, people try to learn the swear words first, right? Yeah. Same with like okay, with true. Japanese or any other language, you know. That's what, that's why I said there's there's some Japanese child out there then they they are first like English. <laughs> is is all alive family friendly? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> 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 There are no family friendly VTubers. It doesn't exist, <laughs> yes, man. No. There's just friendly there's VTubers. There's one friendly, family friendly VTuber, and that's Hayama Marion. Please watch oh, Hayama Marion. Okay! Alright! <laughs> Alright, so got the shit on here. That was good. That was good. That was nice. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Right, I, I, yeah. I, I love, I love uh, uh, Marin's icon here. So, Chairman Ehe, thank you very much. Okay, now to Chairman 80. Dude, dude, Chairman 80 sounds like, bro, I'm like, <laughs> my mouth's a tongue or something, right? Like, I'm like the chairman of, like, what was it called? What do you call it? The People's Republic of China or something? Nah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, okay, I hate said, how it just it. went off. Oh, my God. <laughs> you said it, you said it, you said it. Oh, my it. gosh. Oh, my God. Okay, uh, so I, I, I think I'll end it off with something um, Atsuri tweeted on a sub-account. She says, Oshi wa oseru toki ni oseyo, which means, um, Oshi your Oshis until you can't Oshi them anymore. Right. And I think that's pretty fitting because it may be your you, both of your first few graduations, but um because we I me and Ahe we follow not just whole life. We follow Niji Sanji, we follow Vispo, we follow Animare, we follow Indie okay, I follow Indie VTubers, he doesn't. Uh we follow a lot. I follow a lot of VTubers, right? And uh for better or for worse if we are, we've gotten very numb to this. So one of the big ones that recently happened was Gibaras, right? Uh, a lot of us in the Niji community, we cried, we shed our tears, we, uh, we were quite heartbroken. And then we had like Kasumi's one, we had uh, Yuya who's going to be graduating soon as well. She, was, she announced us before Kokos, but Yuya has always been pretty special for me because she's um, the first gen of DGKR, which means she has a pretty influential spot in terms of VTubing for the Korean sphere, right? And she, she was kind of the gap between uh, Nijisanji JP and Nijisanji KR. So I'm not going to say that this, uh, this graduation didn't affect me. Right? It definitely does. And I was pretty heartbroken. But um, actually, like all other graduations, right? we watch them, we support them until we can't anymore. Whether it's because they've left their content. Uh, uh, you know, like that's the entire thing about... Um, impermanence in Japanese culture or whether it's because we like we stop watching VTubers. The idea is no matter who you watch, they are people too, right? And they these are their careers, right? So eventually one of these days you're gonna stop. So like Made Made said, uh you know, like uh don't be scared about approaching new VTubers to watch. Uh eventually you end up like me, watching too many. You know, you you really you really, really that end up what I see. <laughs> to the I to I yeah that's this kind of why I burnt out recently and uh, the people who watch what you're talking they will know I burnt out quite recently because I watched too many at once yeah but um whether you watch them or not they will be here but whether you don't watch them right they are still gonna be continuing their careers still gonna be growing and they will eventually one day leave us uh so uh like Matsuri said support them until you can't support them anymore 
and I think that's pretty fitting. And that's I think that's where I will end. I will end off. And uh, if you want to find me and the K, I can be found on Twitter at uh, at e- a T Z Y. That is E I G H T Z Y. A K is I think it's like what at three H H E E or something. Some garbage one, right? <laughs> uh, and uh, if you want to find us, we can uh, our podcast or show where we talk about more VTubers, not just whole life. Uh, we can be found at, at VT Talking. Yes, that's our show. Yes, and they're also on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, wherever you listen to, just like me uh, here in the Keep Saying <laughs> Podcast, uh, you can listen to us. Uh, uh, we have lots of discussions that are ready to be unfurled uh, with your ears. So continue listening to the podcast. And this has been the 91st podcast of the Keepsakes podcast with yours truly, Jay Agone, at Jay Agone on Twitter and jagoni.xyz slash podcast you can find lots of stuff right there have a safe safe week and stay hoping i guess no no i i I do not want (laughs) i do not want to end on that note stay frosty stay Mm -hmm. free and as kirikoko says stay positive no i i I, yeah really really i really have to part uh, this uh, I really have to end this podcast with these words. Uh, let me just yeah. watch again the screen. Right, I'm... Yeah, stay... yeah, we we can okay. we can. Is, right. we're still recording? Uh, yeah, we're still yes. we're still recording. Um, well, I, you I've... probably cut okay. it out. Well, yeah. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot the lines. But no matter how many oopsies you have, Coco, we can see your efforts. That's your efforts. And that's your legacy. Here. Yeah, Kirikoko is immortal. Kirikai forever. Yes, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm.